All right, we're going to do this one just a little bit different because I have three articles that were shared with me. And the first one says done on purpose or at least asks done on purpose to open up prime real estate. Maui land grab conspiracy erupts as BlackRock as BlackRock comes under scrutiny. Uh, but we're going to start off with New York Times here. And it says that many celebrities own property on Maui. And it says that Oprah Winfrey and Jeff Bezos are among those who have part time homes on the island. And uh, the wildfires that have killed at least 55 in Maui are burning on an island that also contains the part time homes of billionaires, including Oprah Winfrey, Peter Thiel and Jeff Bezos. The presence of celebrities and tech executives on the island has in the past created tension with locals. Few of the high profile owners have commented publicly on the status of their homes during the fire crisis and representatives from Miss Winfrey, who has lived in Maui part time for more than 15 years, did not respond to a request for comment. And according to Architectural Digest, her portfolio of roughly 1,000 acres on the island includes 870 acres in Kula and area southeast of Lahaina, where firefighting efforts were underway on Thursday. And during brush fires in 2019, she gave Maui County access to a private road on the property to assist with evacuations. How admirable, of her, how noble of her. The seclusion and natural beauty of Maui have long attracted celebrities, including Steven Tyler, Owen Wilson, Woody Harrelson, Willie Nelson, and Jim Carrey. It has also drawn a suite of tech executives who have purchased some of the most expensive properties on the island. And in 2011, Thiel, the founder of PayPal, paid $27 million for a home in Makina on the southwest coast of Maui, which the Wall Street Journal reported was then the most expensive purchase of a single family home in the county. Makina is roughly 10 miles from fire fires burning in South Maui. Last year, the Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, one of the richest men on Earth, purchased a 14 acre estate on La Perouse Bay for an estimated $78 million. The bay is less than 20 miles south of fires in South Maui. And Mr. Bezos' partner, Lauren Sanchez, posted on Threads, a new messaging app linked to Instagram, that the wildfires were beyond heartbreaking, is what she wrote, that Jeff and I have been on the phone with local residents and officials and will be making donations to help. Quite like the uh, $700 stimulus check that has been offered by the Biden administration. So in 2012, the Oracle executive Larry Ellenson bought 98 percent of Lanai, a Maui County island where Bill and Melinda Gates were married in 1994. Lanai does not currently appear to have been damaged by the blaze. Mick Fleetwood, the drummer for the band Fleetwood Fleetwood Mac said in a statement posted on Facebook that the restaurant he owned in Lahaina had been destroyed. He did not respond to a request for comment on the status of his home, which is also in West Maui. Maui and Lahaina community have been my home for several decades is what he wrote. This is a devastating moment for Maui and many are suffering unimaginable loss, which, yes, I would agree Uh, Only from, you know, just compassion because I have no experience with this whatsoever. Now, we have another one here that says that Hawaii wildfires threaten Oprah's Maui estate, other A-listers homes. And this one from the New York Post says that the fast moving wildfires ravaging Maui have killed at least 36 people and decimated hundreds of structures, many of them cultural and historic landmarks on the once idyllic Hawaiian island. Now, among the destroyed buildings is the eponymous Lahaina restaurant of British rocker Mick Fleetwood. This is a devastating moment for Maui and many are suffering unimaginable loss. Again, this quote, the 76 year old Fleetwood Mac co-founder posted on Facebook and Fleetwood's on Front Street has been lost. And while we are heartbroken, our main priority is the safety of our dear staff and team members End quote. Now, Lahaina, uh, a beloved historic hamlet with a population of about 12,000 people, has been home for Fleetwood for decades. 
And in this article, we can actually see some of the fires burning uh, and these abandoned uh, businesses. There's some vehicles on the streets so and people walking. I guess this is probably a, a previous picture before the fire, before the blaze. And it says that the town has suffered some of the worst damage in the fires with some residents jumping into the water to escape the blazing heat and others likening the disaster to an apocalypse. And I was actually told that some people were watering their houses before the fire, and that may have actually helped prevent their homes from catching on fire. Now, the entire island of Maui has long been a favorite destination for rock stars, Hollywood A-listers, and titans of the industry. In 2021, Amazon founder Jeff Bezos, 59 years old, dropped a cool $78 million on a 14-acre estate surrounded by thousands of acres of dormant lava fields near uh, Le Peruse Bay, hope I'm saying this right, uh, an area in the southwest that appeared to be less impacted than other areas of the island as three fires still raged on Thursday. Now, interestingly enough, it actually shows an, a map, an image of the map, and it shows different folks who live on, uh, it says Mau Maui wildfire and celebrity homes. And it shows Clint Eastwood, Sammy Hagar, Owen Wilson, Oprah's got three Oprah's properties. Yeah, she's got three properties. Jeff Bezos, Steven Tyler and uh, Mick Fleetwood. And yeah, so it just it shows their residents, their properties, their real estate uh, and where they are in relation to the fires, which is kind of strange how these fires just kind of broke out in separate parts of the island like on their own. It's, it's really interesting. So meanwhile, Oprah Winfrey, 69 years old, has spent more than 15 years living part time in Maui, where she has va various properties. And this past February, she paid six point six million dollars for eight hundred and seventy acres of land in Kula, an area in central Maui, sandwiched between the South Maui and upcountry wildfires. At least two homes have been destroyed in Cooler, um, and some 80 people were evacuated from 40 homes, fire officials told the Honolulu Star ad Advertiser. And Winfrey also owns 1,200 acres elsewhere on the island, including in Hana, or Hana and near Mount uh, Helikila, Helik Helikala. I'm not good with these names. I'm sorry. Um, both areas are relatively far from the fires. Nestled in the slopes of Mount Helicala, a 10,000 foot volcanic peak, Winfrey's secluded farmhouse getaway features a wraparound porch that appeals to her rural upbringing. And I quote, I love, love, love my house is what Oprah Winfrey told uh, Oprah dot com in 2006 it's a gym so sweet and exquisite such a real normal house it feels like a nice blanket a lovely and soft cashmere one okay um clint eastwood 93 years old is among longtime maui re is as another longtime maui resident he has reportedly lived on the island part-time since the late 1970s soaking up the sun and stunning ocean views in kapalua a stretch along the northwest coast less than 10 miles from lahaina and elsewhere in Maui County, rocker Steven Tyler, 75 years old, is said to have a 3,000 square foot waterfront mansion on a nature preserve in Wela that he bought for $4.8 million in 2012. And uh, while parts of Wela, 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 Wela appear relatively near the South Maui fire, some resorts in the Southwest Maui hotspot, including the Four Seasons, were where the White Lotus was filmed, are open for business. So they were they were they were um, spared from uh, any potential damages here. Van Halen's Sammy Hagar also has a bar and restaurant in Kalu Kahul Kah Kahulu near Maui's main airport, which remains operational as tourists and residents flee the island. Look, guys, I'm not doing this on purpose. It's just these these spellings and these names and these cities, are there's, there's a struggle for me. Former President Barack Obama, who was born in Honolulu on the island of Oahu, said the widespread devastation was difficult to watch from afar. And, quote, it's tough to see some of these images coming out of Hawaii, uh, a place that 
so special to so many of us. Obama, 62 years old, wrote Wednesday on social media. Michelle and I are thinking of everyone who has lost a loved one or whose life has been turned upside down. So this first one, though, I don't know. What do you guys think? It says done on purpose to open up prime real estate? Question mark. Maui Landgrab conspiracy erupts as BlackRock comes under scrutiny. And since the Maui wildfire began on Tuesday, August 8th, there has been plenty of speculation all over social media. Some uh, Netsons, Net Netsians claim the disaster was not caused by Hurricane Dora. As initially reported by several local and national media outlets and government agencies, but was a man-made fire deliberately started by the government or by the elite classes to grab land worth millions of dollars on the island from the natives. Earlier, a conspiracy theory surfaced on the Internet with people claiming that shadowy forces orchestrated the disaster using an energy weapon or a laser beam that caused an explosion and led to the flames. However, that theory was later debunked. Now, as alter as alternative conspiracy theories have has emerged following followed by a viral tweet shared by at TNT John 1717, the post is captioned. So sorry to hear about Maui. Listen to this guy makes you wonder what really happened, which shouldn't be surprising. And then it shows a tweet that says so sorry. To, uh, oh, I'm sorry. Hang on. I got it. It's a it's a it's a clip. It's a video clip of Hawaii truth bombs will surface and it's from TikTok Spencer from Florida. So a TikTok video from the handle at Spencer from Florida shows a young man claiming that he was involved with fire and emergency services on the island and did not believe that the fire was naturally caused. He also shared his own firsthand account of the wildfire. He suggested that it could not have been caused by just a hurricane and that there were other reasons behind it, such as elites intentionally setting fires in an effort to grab land from the locals. And it says, I quote, I feel like there's something bigger. I've been on Maui the last nine years, and I know the geographical locations and how everything works here uh, is what he's heard saying. He further claimed that there was no way a hurricane that big caused no flooding or other crazy things, but ended up starting a fire is what he said. And it not only caused fires in Maui, it caused fires in most in the most precious parts of real estate in Maui. It's not a coincidence, he added. And as soon as the video became viral, Netsians joined forces to support the speculation that the fires were indeed the doing of elites in collaboration with real estate firms and government agencies to capture Maui's valuable land. One user even commented on X, formerly Twitter, in his this regard. And it says Dr. Keck uh, at the Keck Society. It looks like a man monkey sort of uh was maui fire done on purpose to open up prime real estate and then again it shares spencer from florida's tiktok um is this a conspiracy for a land grab question mark netsy and speculate that blackrock was involved in the maui fires as reported by several media outlets including the bbc lahaina is the worst affected region in the maui fires for those unaware lahaina was once the capital of hawaii before it became part of the usa in fact it is full of native people rich lands and business owners all of whom have previously refused to sell their properties to conglomerates such as BlackRock, Vanguard, State Street, and Oprah Winfrey's Har Harpo Productions. Many of the properties are in prime locations, such as on the oceanfront, and are considered valuable land worth millions of dollars. Now, since at TNT John 1717's tweet, many X users are claiming that elites, government agencies, and asset managers like BlackRock caused the wildfire to capture land from Maui natives. In this regard, the name BlackRock has created the most widespread stir as the firm handles the majority of the celebrity properties on the island, such as those as Oprah Winfrey, Jeff Bezos, Mark Zuckerberg, Lady Gaga, Bill Gates, Will Smith, Julia Roberts, and more. All of those properties have reportedly been unaffected by the by the fires, while the lands of the natives have been burned down. This is some crazy stuff. Many locals have been forced to sell their lands, while some have even lost their lives trying to save them. A lot of the lands are now unclaimed, making it allegedly easy for the elites to try and buy such properties using the help of BlackRock as per Internet rumors. 
Netzians even shared aerial videos of Lahaina that claimed that the tra- trajectory of the fire, the areas it burned down, and the ones it spared seem suspicious. Some have even stated that since native landowners refused to sell land to investment management companies such as BlackRock, and rich inhabitants and second home owners, the blaze was intentionally caused. Now, a few on the internet have produced proof that Black Rock, BlackRock was the largest landowner and biggest investor on the island and thus allegedly masterminded the fires. Some even believe it was a joint effort for whoever gets to benefit from turning Maui into a smart city. And here are some of the speculations doing the rounds on social media, which then shows more Twitter or X posts shared by different people with different opinions, thoughts and, uh, you know, uh, theories on the matter. So far, the exact cause or causes of the fires in Maui have not been proven. However, no real evidence that they were intentional has emerged either. Unfortunately, 96 deaths have been confirmed as of Monday, with the numbers rising every day. Many people are still unaccounted for, including natives and tourists, while there have been irreparable damages suffered by public and private infrastructure on the island, including lands, residences and businesses. A lot of native wildlife has also been impacted, including a 150 year old banyan tree, which happens to be the oldest in the USA. Now, I'm not going to give any opinion or speculation on this but i do really want to know what you guys think drop a comment down below and then based on that maybe we can pick this back up on a future video and we can review all your comments and then have a bigger discussion and dialogue from there